most important is don't give up mm. jangan rasa macam you have done all and you have done enough mm. because i'm sure out there selagi you tak betul-betul uh, cuba mm. there's there's a solutions to everything you guys are now watching couple talk Assalamualaikum everybody, this is me Aiman Azlan back with another season of Couple Talk, Couple Talk Season 3. In this episode, we have a special guest for you guys. We have Nurul from Mimpi Kita and Azril aka Bijan. Welcome guys, welcome Hi. to Hi, thank you the for studio. Yeah. You guys look very very nice together. Dah, matchy-matchy hari ni. Yeah, yeah, because you heard that before, right? It's fine. <laughs> Let's just pretend that it's the first time you heard it. <laughs> so, I guess to launch of this discussion let's start with the wajib questions semua couple kena ada kalau datang couple talk and okay. that is how did you guys meet uh, okay i just like 12 years ago yeah, like 12 we, years yeah, ago we got yeah. married in 2007 so like 2020 is 13th year lah this is the 13th year yeah 13th 2020 year. 13 years man <laughs> i think we started off when we met in uh, australia Mm-hmm. Uh, when we further our studies over there It was I think Tahun berapa? 2005 eh? I think it was 2005 yeah. But actually yeah. we, we met way before that Because he was actually He's actually my brother punya good friend Brother punya good friend Okay yeah. ha, ha, ha. She came to the house once Tapi mm. I tak macam like really Jumpa dia lah You datang JB kot Aku oh. tak <laughs> Man <laughs> So uh, yeah He actually came to the house Tapi I macam Selisih je I, Oh you I, saw him I saw him yeah. Tapi I tahulah Dia datang rumah I But see. then we didn't actually Macam jumpa lah Okay so okay After that baru jumpa Tu pun Jumpa oh, yeah. And then kita pun. jumpa uh, And then Itulah Australia mm-hmm. Yeah And then what happened Like from the first time you met How did the relationship progress Until uh, Until the I do part tu He's my brother punya good friend. So mm. basically at memang that time jumpa, at kan? that time ah uh, kita memang selalu jumpa because we hang out I mean the same circle of friends. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we spend most of the time our social activities masa dekat sana tu mm-hmm. so within mm-hmm. within the same group of friends kan. Yeah. So um, that's how it started and then so happened that at that time uh, I am almost completing my my study there was a degree right it was i was doing i was doing my post graduate post grad i see i see uh she she was still studying at that time aha uh-huh, aha uh-huh. i was just starting to ni kan start uh, my my second. master uh-huh. and mm. he was about to go back masa tu oh you born nak start dia nak habis dah dia nak balik dah dia you tukar oh. course something i don't know yeah and yeah, then, dia baru nak start um, eh dia uh, baru nak balik uh, i baru nak start Okay, so you manage like long distance relationship for a while? Uh, at first, no. At first, we were friends je. A friend. Okay, this Memang is that stage lah. Memang dia macam kira mm. the last person yang I cakap, I macam, dia ni memang I tak nak lah. He's <laughs> not the kind of man yang I memang, I nak, I imagine to be with. Mm. So, end up. What changed though? What oh yeah, though? I remember. Dia yeah, punya, what changed dia though? Punya, dia punya preference was actually. <laughs> <laughs> Bodoh jungka. <laughs> <laughs> Mak, Mak Salih Oh tak, ya ke Tak lama nak do Anyway yang Memang dia the last person lah yang I memang cakap dengan my friend My yeah. good friend Ili Semua macam mm. Bijan memang the last person lah yang It's I, funny though I've asked this question to a few couples And that's the same answer He's the last guy That I thought of Tapi kan? tu yang dapat Tapi end up hmm. Hmm. Interesting kan <laughs> Kan Itulah <laughs> <laughs> 13 years. So after 13 years of a marriage, probably you ada banyak story nak nak cerita. But one of the stories that we're really really interested to get your experience in in today's show is about how you got Adam and Noah. Yeah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So it was 10 years of trying, right? Yes. So how was it? How uh, was it in 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 the 10 years too? The first year we were okay je because mm. the first year I was still studying. Yeah. And then um, dia datang balik Aussie. Uh-huh. Because uh, he had to follow me lah after we got married and yeah. he decided to ikut I juga And then the first year tu memang macam we try to like settle down macam mm. 
get a stable punya he trying to yeah. get a stable job so memang the first year tu memang kita macam decided not to yeah. like really focus take having a family lah so uh-huh. macam take it easy uh-huh. kan and then the second year the first year tu memang dekat Aussie and then after I graduated mm-hmm. from my mm-hmm. master tu we went back and then the second year tu dah macam bila balik Malaysia je semua orang dah macam uh, bila nak ada anak yes kan? So that's yes. when we started to go apa tu do some check up semua tu. Mhm mhm. And then tapi macam it didn't hit us really, really ni sangat lah because at that time at our the, yeah because at that still, time yeah we are, most of our friends are still either single still mm-hmm, at that time mhm or um newly couple like us baru kahwin, kahwin. Mm-hmm. 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 tak kahwin lagi kan mostly because tak kahwin lagi lah. Ah. So that's we the pressure married. tu pun tak 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 that, rasa sangat Yeah, because lah. your circle pun tak ada hmm, anak yeah. lagi ah. and so Because on. I was 25 at that time He oh, was young. 20 27 27 mm. So everyone pun macam Our friends semua setengah Try to settle down I Tak, see. tak Ini lagi lah So it doesn't and hit then, me at that time And then, and ha, then ha, ha. his brother pun eh, I mean her brother pun tak, tak ada anak lagi masa tu So yes. kita pun lagi macam Okay lah Cucil lah <laughs> Cucil kan? lagi Yang atas pun like, okay lagi Kita macam <laughs> okay lah kan Okay lah Terselamat jugalah Haa <laughs> uh. But yeah, the the second year tu we went for check up mm-hmm. and then uh, okay lagi third year tu macam didn't detect anything at the time. It the was second okay. Year, it was okay. Alhamdulillah. He was okay. I was okay. Macam we had no problem mm. any infertility punya problem. Yes, yes. So kita orang pun macam doktor pun macam oh chill. Baru second year. <laughs> the, apa tu take it as your honeymoon year. Kan? Yes, macam yes. Chill, chill, just no pressure. Um, and then third year, fourth year Macam eh tak ada lagi eh. mm, Bila mm, I reach mm, 30 mm. Most of my friends dah Suddenly macam semua orang dah kahwin oh, And like pula. one by one Dah dapat anak Aha. And then your friends pun macam One by one dapat anak And then uh, I think masa the fourth year tu My my brother dapat the first kid After uh, seven years of uh, Apa tu kahwin, yeah, marriage mm, Then mm. macam terus macam Okay, okay, okay The and first training. child and also first grandchild in the family? Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, besar tu. It's huh. a big event tu. Yes. Mm. yes. <laughs> big event tu. So, This is after four like years of marriage lah for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Four years dah. Okay. Uh, four years. For, for them, it's already seven years lah. Mm-hmm. For us, mm-hmm. our for us fourth, fourth year. year lah. And then baru macam, dah macam, alamak. Start feeling the pressure, ya. Yeah? Then uh, masa tu, I, I 29. And then dah nak masuk 30 tu, mm. macam like, The pressure is getting higher and higher. Yes, yes, I and understand. He, yeah. he was 32. 32. Kan? Lagi banyak pressure lah. And then that was four years. And then you have to wait fifth year, six mm. years, seven, eight, nine. I mean, between you two, who who like feels the most of the pressure? Of course, my mom would like ask me like, have mm. you go and do your checkup lah, apa lah, mm-hmm. what's wrong with you guys? Of mm-hmm. course, of course, my mom being a mom and then yeah. she, she understand like being a woman, you know, yeah. this is the, actually the, the macam goal lah for all women to, to be a mom and to have uh, children. children of her own. Yeah, so, I understand. Of yeah. course, dia macam worried and macam, uh, apa tu, worried for me and worried uh, for the, the, apa tu, this relationship lah, mm. this marriage. Um, at what point yang you decide okay let's let's try this one seriously like is it is it the, I mean oh. the second half of the five years too can yeah. is it in mean, seventh it's, year it's, eighth it's year it's quite a journey juga lah I would say for that uh, second half of the five years too because yeah. we went through a few procedures mm. uh, the best Ayla, part I went the, through the, the <laughs> procedures the, the, the best <laughs> yes. part for us is that at least we know when we go see doctor that Um, doctor memang confirm that both of us are healthy Alhamdulillah no issue, It's just mm. no rezeki Or mm. I would say the exact words that the doctor mentioned to us at that time was like ah, You guys are good, you guys are healthy uh, You guys are maybe in the 15% of the um, you know unknown oh. cases. unknown cases Yeah because usually when, when in cases where Couples yes. don't have kids. The immediate point conclusion adalah something wrong with either one of you. Yes. But yes. both of you are healthy. Alhamdulillah, Good. Okay. Alhamdulillah, yeah, alhamdulillah. Tak ada masalah. It's just that 
unknown cases lah that yeah, it, it, it happens it happens yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's basically yeah. tak ada rezeki oh tak nak bagi lagi ah, yeah, kan. there's there's a planning in that right yes yeah. but then of course we have to try you know uh, apa tu macam you punya career ke apa ke uh, whatever it is you have to try to do something lah mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. find solution yeah but actually there's no solution it's just like trying uh, different ways or method Okay. To you know, to get a child or to conceive. Speaking of different ways, uh, because people are listening to mm. this podcast, maybe mm. they are trying, mm-hmm. maybe they are maybe clueless or dah buntu dah dah cuba macam macam. What are the methods that you use, the treatments that you get the second half of the ten years? Macam macam. Actually, could you share a few with us? Yeah. The, the second year that we went to see yeah. the specialist, I think I macam I actually I'm glad that I went. Uh, for check up the the second year too. Yes. So I tahu juga like what's wrong with us and check then what ah uh, yeah. check up awal mm. macam tengok ada tak problem ke apa. Mm-hmm. Kalau tak ada it's okay alhamdulillah. Mm. Then from there macam you get advice on like you know how to you know conceive ke mm. uh, naturally. Mm. Uh, from there macam kita dia dah start bagi like supplement. Mm. The first visit oh, what, what tu. What kind macam, of supplements? Uh, they give us actually the hormone pills. Apa tu Clomid? I think everyone knows lah Clomid oh, okay, tu. Okay. It's just normal. For kan? both? For, for me. For oh, for the lady. Okay, 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 okay. So Clomid tu. Uh, tapi uh, usually the doctor will advise to makan that one for like three cycles. For women, three cycles. Yes, yes. Pasal kalau tak jadi, then you you try again lah. So mm, that's why mm. bila I dah try Clomid tu, tapi tak jadi. So mm. I tried for a few I think I stopped lepas so I try balik for a few years lah. And yes. then after that when I... Well, that not not to say it's just the modern medication je yang kita buat. Yeah. We went to urut-urut makcik semua. urut. I don't know hmm. how many already makcik urut. Oh. Yang kat sana, yang We kat sini. We went to <laughs> orang balik Mekah bagi buah apalah, keras lah, whatever <laughs> tu. Yes, uh, yes. Then we went to that, <laughs> to that cycle juga. Um, Actually, I because uh, apa tu uh, I'm as an entrepreneur kan? I jumpa mm, banyak orang. I yes. meet a lot of people. So whenever I got the chance to you know talk about it, mm-hmm. talk about my problem, mm-hmm. bukan lah like telling people about my problem, tapi macam sharing kan? Yes. So they will like macam usually macam I take it as macam oh maybe you know when I apa tu dengar dia punya stories macam mm. maybe that much urut. Mm-hmm. Will work for me hmm. So macam yeah. I take that chances And macam Pergilah makcik urut kat sini Kejap kan makcik urut dekat mana? Dekat keramat lah Dekat Melaka dekat Johor lah, lah Dekat even... Melaka lah Oh you so, go all over the place yeah. Wow yeah, Because macam I I feel that Maybe that's Where my luck is mm. Mm. Kan so kita try Ikhtiar, je lah Ikhtiar, 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 Ah. Kurma. Buah kurma ada You kena pergi Mekah Buah keras Buah keras Buah, buah keras Buah keras uh, I, I don't Nama know Nama buah They call it buah zuriat or something Buah zuriat So kita there's, orang pergi There's such a thing Ada Kita orang pergi umrah uh-huh. Lepas tu cari that buah keras Cari meratus Dia orang semua macam tak tahu okay Buah keras tu I... Like in Mekah pun dia tak tahu ha, Apa benda tahu. buah keras ni Kita orang <laughs> tahu buah tin Kurma Buah keras Lepas tu ada serbuk apa Serbuk kurma lah Something like that Oh, tu so, pun kita orang beli tu beli. buah keras tu it took as like <laughs> berapa hari nak pecahkan buah keras tu <laughs> literally keras lah kan ha, keras memang keras, keras lah lepas tu rebus lepas tu try macam uh, tak jadi pun so and then I actually google lepas tu rupanya macam tak pun it's just it's just hearsay ke je apa ke oh. macam tapi macam you know I take it as macam like I said just now macam lah. try and error yeah, hmm, yeah, you... tak, kalau tak jadi tak apa at hmm. least orang dah cakap ni I try semua Yeah. Okay. So until we decided to Until we decided Because we, even before we uh, Decided to Went for the the uh, In vitro Fertilization procedure IVF, IVF yes, procedure, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, There are other procedures that we have Tried before Oh before uh, IVF Yes We had um, the They call it IUI We had uh-huh. IUI dia macam uh-huh. level dia macam 
uh, lower than IVF lah. The success rate you mean? The s- success rate, rate lower and then uh-huh. the process tu dia tak not as uh, intensive macam IVF I see, lah. I and see. the the price the also, cost the cost pun lagi macam hmm. lower. It makes sense lah. Way you try the lower, cheaper yes. work, cheaper options first lah. Ah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that macam kita tak terasa sangat lah. And that time pun macam I was still 30 years old. So I hmm. we tried the first IUI when I was 30. Okay, okay. So, tadi, lepas tu macam, actually kita dah tahu dah, the success rate was really macam low. Like, mm. uh, berapa 20% success rate. Tapi okay, macam, okay. like I said, macam, nak try je. Tak apa, it's okay. Yeah, because mm. we got feedback from the doctor to say that we are okay. So, yeah. chances are that even Takkan with that 20% try. pun should Takkan be okay lah, tak lah kan. Boleh, kan? <laughs> You do, you, you, do, you do the math macam ha, insyaAllah boleh kan, kot. InsyaAllah ha, boleh kan. InsyaAllah okay. boleh kot. Tapi I think bila dah you dah start that process, macam you, doktor cakap kita tak ada problem. Tapi when we try to do that, hmm. macam why tak successful juga. So benda tu yang buat you lagi macam down. Actually you okay hmm. je. Tapi bila try benda tu, alamak, you dah went through, you know, those injections. Know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then the hormone pills, macam... Benda tu buat you lagi macam your body macam like hair wire lepas tu and then when the result apa tu came out lepas tu tak okay juga mm. so tu yang buat you rasa down I can imagine that Not to that. say the cost mm. jugalah you have spent betul effort, betul tu time, memang dah money. macam dah coin case lah macam tak boleh buat apa tapi macam yes. the ni lah the emotion after that I understand mm. I mean one thing that uh, I really want to tap into is how do you deal with with I don't want to say failure, but mm. I kind of feel that way, mm-hmm. right? I mean, you have tried so many things, mm-hmm. right? Um, maybe more than uh, average people try to get kids, mm-hmm. kan? How do you deal with that successive, like, tak jadi, tak jadi, tak jadi, tak jadi, tak jadi, and it's been uh, like 10 years, yeah. Kan? To me, um, as a human, normal mm. human being, of course, you your emotions to you be, um, bila you something not in your favor yeah kan? so you maybe you akan rasa down that's that's normal as a Betul, human yes. but regardless you have to move on lah mm-hmm. move on and back up and and just <laughs> <laughs> try like usually lah. macam for me like one day je sedih you sedih sedih, sedih. lepas ah. tu the next day you dah macam okay balik alhamdulillah so yeah, macam we try to like macam Uh, rather than alah, I think like normal person pun you sedih sekejap and then you try to like macam fikir benda lain you focus mm. on work ke then you be okay balik lepas tu dah lama sikit you you need you take time to heal lepas tu nanti you okay balik I, I think yang the hardest part was um, going through IVF the first the, time the first, uh-huh. the first cycle the first cycle talk to us about that the first time IVF so though. after IUI kita break sekejap mm-hmm. but we still went to see doctor jugalah so I guess let's move on to talk about your first IVF experience it's okay we have ambient noise from the kids in the background it's okay no, they're fine they're fine no no apologize this, this is what <laughs> having kids all about right <laughs> yeah. kena ada suara-suara di belakang tu harus so the first IVF experience so how, how did it how did that go uh, the first one Yeah. Uh, uh, the first one too was actually a normal uh, IVF process I would say. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had uh, like 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 Nurul mentioned earlier uh, visited this doctor this particular doctor mm-hmm. uh, in in one of the hospital. Uh, uh, but uh, for some reason I do feel that uh, this experience too much I'm not so pleasant lah, I would say oh. from the beginning from okay. the beginning okay uh. how how come how come um we got i actually got introduced to this doctor by uh-huh. a lot of people juga lah that uh-huh. i met along the way too um the masa kita buat IUI tu it was with another doctor another uh, apa tu uh, infertility punya specialist and yes, so we yes. decided to go to another hospital Try to see this else. doctor uh-huh. yes So the first visit tu pun dah macam uh. you dah feel macam like tak best you know oh, the, the, like the vibe the vibe yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah. The, ah. the environment tu macam dah tak best mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so you know when you go for actually masa tu our first time yes. and at that time there's no like macam um, blog ke or any like you know masa tu social media pun not 
that uh, ni sangat kan mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, no one talk about infertility no one talk about uh, apa tu IVF ke so yes. for me to like ask around or macam read something on uh, online pun macam susah so like the so, actual procedure uh, ke yeah. oh, okay, so okay, we okay. went to uh, to see this doctor without having any macam knowledge mm-hmm. or any ni lah about the the process mm. Semua mm-hmm. So pergi macam yang Pergi macam uh, We expect the doctor to You know actually uh, Apa Explain to us yes. What are the process mm. And then uh, And then what are the Macam uh, Apa macam nak cakap Apa yang kita nak Expect from ha, That ha, ha. process that lah, lah. That treatment. Guide you through the process yes. lah Because the oh. process uh, Apa tu You need to spend around 20 plus thousand mm. Okay on the money side tu Kita dah macam Okay, to go through this, we need to have that certain amount yeah, of money. Yeah. So, kita dah macam set our mind. Okay, kita nak kena ada duit ni. Mm. Okay, tu, itulah yang kita dah prepare actually. Yes. But mentally and physically, I don't think at that time kita macam well prepared. I see, ha, I see. Tak? I tak, yeah. I, I pun tak cannot imagine like uh, macam ni injection. Dia tak, the first visit tu pun, dia tak explain like really. Okay. Yeah, first you need to do this, this, this. How many injections yeah. you have to go through? Tak ada. Oh, so, so for man- people who are listening, yang macam you guys the first time around, mm-hmm. tu kan? Maybe there's no apa explanation. Uh, explanation, ke apa. Ke apa. could you explain to them now, knowing what you know? Like how does the procedure go? IVF. Okay, first masa you pergi IVF tu, of course you need to do before you buat IVF. Yeah. You need to do like few checkups lah, mm-hmm. but. Uh, like I said before that I dah buat dah yes kind the second year tu yes. I, dah, I actually Ooh. went through apa tu I buat HSG this HSG apa, uh, macam uh-huh. scan uh-huh. dia nak tengok whether there's blockage on your apa tu fallopian tube, tube tu uh-huh. so I did that the second year mm. so I still have that record with yes. me so I bawa and mm-hmm. I showed to the doctor macam mm-hmm. okay this is my fallopian tube there's no blockage ke apa whatsoever tak yes dia. And then blood test, of course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then uh, from IUI, I I still ada the blood test. So usually this macam report ni semua boleh tahan like 5 to 7 years. So oh, I can juga. still bring ah, that yeah, kan. Yeah. Tak adalah kena buat lagi, you know. Exactly. So from the IUI punya test tu semua, I bawa lah pergi jumpa this doctor. Mm. Mm. But so to you cut need... things short, I think um, the... We we went through the full cycle of IVF, yeah. The first time around. The first time mm-hmm. around, we went and through the full cycle of IVF because IVF predominantly they are the two uh, major procedures, lah. That mm-hmm. you have to do. One is the they call it the egg extraction, mm-hmm. and then the um, transfer. Telur the embryo transfer. Mm-hmm. They call it the second mm-hmm. procedure is the embryo transfer. Yes. So we went through the whole procedure up to the point of the egg extraction. Mm-hmm. After the extraction, then they will do the uh, IVF procedure to the dalam lab and whatnot yes, before yes, they yes. even the transfer the embryo transfer back, the embryo. back to my back to the womb. Can mm. uh, we were told uh, that uh, we were, we got the call from the hospital and yeah. we were told to go and see the doctor. Oh, oh, okay. So we went to see the doctor. Doctor to only on that particular day, je, dia terus macam cakap um, tadi dia macam lembut gila on that day <laughs> <laughs> but that's not not a good sign i guess yeah, considering yeah. the context i'm guessing it didn't go well yeah it didn't go well because apparently the doctor said that uh, though they managed to do the egg extraction yeah. procedure yeah he but got she got like around 8 eggs from uh, the egg extraction uh, mm. from the procedure but uh, for whatever reason, unknown reason again, mm-hmm. that all the egg did not survive. Allahu Akbar. Okay, so we didn't get to go for that second procedure, even the, the embryo. embryo transfer. So, so it's embryo actually, tak ada. It's but because it's actually, um, well, I would say the embryo died mm-hmm. in the lab. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. So. We were like, like, okay, this is just the last hurdle. We just need to get the embryo. Because when they talk to can, they macam cakap lah, okay, usually they will take like two eggs to apa tu nak they nak uh, defrost kan the mm, eggs. Mm. So they call, okay, I'm got we gonna defrost two eggs, 
Lepas tu macam Okay I said Okay Okay lah yeah. So I have another six In my mind I have another six Yes So macam Okay tak apa Sekali the next day Dia call Macam uh, Can you come to the hospital Macam uh, I macam Okay Lepas tu I dah prepare Actually I dah set my mind I dah tell my staff semua I'm going to uh-huh. be on leave uh-huh. For like two months Macam tu kan uh-huh. So but we, so, we thought, thought that like, We're going to The embryo thing second, second uh-huh. plan, At least uh-huh. macam Transfer lah. tu macam At least kita habiskan lah The uh-huh. whole process tu yes. Tapi Bila yeah, pergi sec- semua died so, so So when the doctor Told us that mm. We were like macam I don't know That that time the emotion Wasn't just I mean quite a, quite a roller coaster juga uh, apa yang korang lalui ni kan dah because, lah. Yeah because even if the embryo did not survive ah uh. once that transfer in we can understand maybe we are you know to 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 active ke uh-huh, you know things uh-huh, like that but uh-huh. thing is it didn't get to tak to transfer tahap, into tak sampai ke tahap tu pun. Ah uh, dia dah macam dekat lab je dah How, how did you guys deal with it like emotionally? I mean, it's quite a roller coaster juga. Yeah, I mean, so, after all those procedures kan, the uh, first time. Like, so emotionally, okay lah. like how did you Benda tu very fragile. Yes. So yes. macam memang like susah jugaklah. Yeah. So I don't know what happened in between the the embryo was you know when when the embryo was in the lab kan i don't mm, know what happened mm. lah within that that Allah alam yeah seven days. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And then after that first round again um, like Relationship wise How how did you manage to Did, did it strengthen your relationship Or did it Okay uh, je Okay je I think after that We we took a break mm. um, For a year I told we, him like Okay we, I need a break uh, We Got it we, Got it We went for holidays Yeah Memang I balik tu Actually I dah nak cuti kan Yes Balik tu pergi kerja balik Oh go <laughs> to work Because I don't I, I text my mom I cakap nah, Mama please don't ask me anything Please tell everyone not to ask me anything. Okay. Okay, it's just uh, apa tu the IVF uh, was unsuccessful. Mm. So please tell everyone don't ask me anything or don't text me or don't call me. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I went back home, nangis 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 nangis. So I pergi kerja balik. Pergi kerja terus book pergi holiday. Uh, not holiday work lah. Holiday slash holiday, work. Holiday holiday. Holiday slash work. Ah, okay. That's work related. Usually, true. I selalu macam uh, to run away from this is to work lah. Oh, work me. work is your therapy lah. Ah, yes. Okay, okay. okay. So okay. tu lepas tu kita, I remember we went to Hong Kong. Lepas tu I cakap dengan dia, I need a break for a year. I don't want to do anything. Okay. No procedures. Nothing. No procedures. No go see doctor. Tapi, but actually after that I pergi check juga lah just in case nak bersihkan ha, 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 ha. and then I actually ask the doctor macam if I were if I want to like know further I nak tahu details on like why is it unsuccessful mm-hmm. dia suruh I bayar another 10,000 Allah to check akbar. I macam <laughs> pasti nak bayar lagi 10,000 nak tahu kenapa <laughs> roller coaster man okay, Oosh, macam, emotionally tak apalah I macam mm. I so I mean the money after, part is difficult enough right but uh, I mean imagine yeah, emotion exactly, lu exactly, kan? emotion exactly. ha, yeah. kita because kita berharap kan berharap, ha, berharap and, tu and you don't get the answer because yeah. to me everything happened for a reason so betul let me know I I I can still take it mm. kan kedok kodok dan kadar you terima lah tak yes. dia tapi mm. You want to know lah what's the reason Why? kan? Betul, the betul, reason. betul. Yeah, Tapi yeah. nak to know what's the reason, bayar another 10,000. Mm, okay lah, that's why you need the one year break too. So I'm guessing both of you need the one year break. So relax. We, took, we took a break one year uh-huh. and then after that, we started back that that process. Uh, she went for detox punya program I pergi, lah. I pergi, I actually met another Diet person. Lah. Lepas tu, this girl. Dietitian lah. This girl macam, uh, apa tu, she also macam went through this uh, proses, this process lah. Lepas tu, dia went to see this one doctor. Lepas tu, dia buat detox. Mm-hmm. And then, she got, uh, apa tu, she conceived normal lah. Not through IVF. So, I macam, okay lah. Maybe this is my... Uh, chance to you know conceive normally and mm. not go through balik IVF tu the thought of going back through the whole cycle buat IVF tu I macam oh, alamak yeah, yeah. so, trauma dia lagi yeah, yeah. please <laughs> tu after one year I cakap yeah, please give me 8 months because that friend of mine tu dia try for 8 months juga detox yes. tu then dia dapat conceive so I cakap yeah. okay you bagi I 8 months yes. so I started to do the detox macam January macam mm. tu lepas tu dia bulan 5 dia dah macam okay lah Kena Tidak lagi kan <laughs> so, 
Okay, I cakap, okay, okay, okay. Bagi I sampai after raya. Because raya for my, apa tu, business ni memang. Raya is the peak, kan? Yeah, so, betul. I pun tak boleh yeah, nak betul. fokus. Ya, betul. Fashion, kan? Ha, ha. Uh, kalau nak buat IVF pun, I tak boleh nak fokus. So, I cakap, tak apa-apa. Bagi I dulu buat detox ni. So, memang detox tu memang like, betul-betul detox lah. Mm-hmm. Yang I makan, I kena... Uh, apa tu makan uh, minum uh, apple juice every morning hmm. i kena makan seminggu tu i kena makan apa Ikan ayam apa benda entah rebus saja ke kampung rebus sahaja for 7 days and you have I, to join in uh, nah, I, i'm excluded <laughs> ayam rebus for 7 days dengan peria okey pagi oh. madam lepas tu i kena take the chicken broth tu mm-hmm. minum mm. Mm. Mm, delicious Seven, ha, mm. lepas tu for Like a month, I tak boleh makan udang, sotong lah, apalah. Yeah. I can only eat uh, chicken tapi ayam kampung or yang tak ada... No injection uh, lah. No injection mm-hmm. tu semua. So, I no dessert, no apa kan. But that, that even after we went to that... Tak jadi detox juga. Detox punya program tu so, macam tak jadi juga. But I still remember... Tapi dia, dia dah macam bulan... After raya yeah. tu dia dah macam yang serious tak ada you kena buat IVF I dah macam oh this I is like what the ninth year ke apa dah uh, dah that Nine. was that was that was at the eighth year eighth year dah wow eight years wow and I remember that's one night <laughs> tengah tidur ah 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 it was like maybe three four a.m in the morning mm. I think I had a <laughs> I had a dream lah mm-hmm. I had mm-hmm. a dream pas saya macam bangun macam terus kejut dia macam Okay, you kena janji dengan I sekali je. You kena buat lagi sekali this procedure because I had this dream. I don't want to die. Macam mati tak ada. Tak ada mati tak ada zuri. Tak ada zuri lah. Ah, Sampai lah tak lah. Ah. Uh, tu dia pun macam, okay, okay. I don't know whether dia tahu tak apa dia cakap because it was like 4 a.m. And that that is the turning point lah. Yeah. Because that, and from that on, I really pursue her to 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 go through that procedure again lah. So we decided to go back to the first uh, doctor IUI yang doctor. IUI tu. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. We went tapi to that, that but, center tapi uh, different doctor. Different doctor. Different doctor lah. So actually we, before yang I buat the first IVF tu, mm-hmm. I dah jumpa this doctor, this particular doctor I dah jumpa. Mm. But I went back and then I cakap dengan my mom, mama cakap oh, jumpa lah doktor perempuan. That's why I went to see yang doktor yang berikut. No wonder. Itu. Okay, okay. So okay. I kita pergi balik lah. So pergi balik tu. Uh, tapi I rasa at that time Once I dah buat detox tu mm-hmm. My body like rasa lain Dia dah macam like um, Lagi fresh Ringan uh, Ringan yeah. Lepas tu And uh, my mind pun also like I think I dah macam Okay sikit with my business Macam Stable I, uh, Dah stable sikit mm-hmm. So kita So you were in a good place Ah uh, Yes So okay. I pergi Tapi I remember The first Pergi tu Lepas tu Dia dah dah ready nak Buat injection tu I cried. I macam I nangis. I nangis. What the injection tu? Tak before injection before, tu. Before, okay. Because we decided the first cycle tu kita inject sendiri. Yes. So I don't want that. I cakap I don't want to take the risk. Aha. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I tak nak uh, bijan inject I. Aha. Uh-huh. E professional buat. Uh, takut salah ke apa ke? Kan? Takut kan? Takut we, we had we had the first <laughs> round yang unsuccessful kan? kena so buat sendiri. So kita tak nak take any chances pun. Mm. Uh, apa tu? I cakap I nak buat kat klinik. I nak buat kat klinik, I suruh nurse buat. So, the uh-huh. first uh, jab tu, I macam, I nangis-nangis-nangis sebab I macam tak percaya I have to go through this. Again. Uh, and lepas tu, I dah macam prepare my mind yang I akan uh, emo all the time and jab tu for me, uh-huh. I memang tak suka injection. Yeah. So, how I take it is uh, memang jab ni memang pada I memang sakit lah. Padahal mm-hmm. ada sakit orang pun. yang is oh. <laughs> it's bearable but macam Sak- sakit and I think the, that, the the effect of the medication tu yang, yang buat you rasa mm, mm. it's not the process of eh sakit lah main injek you <laughs> lepas tu ah, tu lah I nangis-nangis lepas tu I dah okay then mm. uh, buat lah buat the second IVF ha, the second IVF tapi memang that is very important lah to choose the the the, the place and mm. the doctor yang you rasa mm-hmm. comfortable ah. because buat benda ni dia memang Your... It's taxing kan ha. I mean I mean, listening to your story Macam oh my god Emotionally hmm. macam mana korang Tak eh? boleh tempat yang macam Because the first hospital tu That place pun macam very busy You terkejar-kejar masa You had to wait for hours to... Yeah. Just to see doctor We yeah. have to go The first the first round We have to go 
Seven. early just to get numbers. After subuh, I mean, nami nombor imagine dulu. you have to go. You have to go to a private hospital, but you still have to go earlier and get numbers. Then Pukul tujuh have... tak mandi, Allah. ambil nombor dulu. Mm-hmm. Lepas tu balik rumah mandi, Pada tak sampai lagi balik. Number tak sampai lagi. Tunggu Our lagi. turn tak sampai lagi. Tunggu lagi. Lepas And tu you nak kerjakan sampai, kerja. Sampai dah turn sampai jumpa doktor, doktor pula macam ni kan. So, <laughs> macam so, After macam, all of that second IVF, that's the okay. one lah. Okay. I, the, masa tu I memang I rasa lain I rasa macam I dah ready I macam rasa My body pun okay So Alhamdulillah dia, tak That's the one That's the one that sticks Just rezeki lah Tuhan tu memang dah Yeah Oh And, my god I mean I, I get I get exhausted emotionally Listening to you guys Punya story Like ups and downs And everything I can imagine it uh, I mean my, my wife and I We tried like for a year and a half je, mm-hmm. And then we got our first son kan So Like emotionally For you, I'm guessing it's so so difficult. And mm-hmm. but as a husband, because I can relate more to uh. the to the, the husband, lah, kan? How did you like support her emotionally? Like really, cemana mm-hmm. nak support emotionally in that situation? Uh, layan kan je lah tu. Aku <laughs> <laughs> cakap dengan dia, you diam je, you layan je. I, <laughs> I guess so, yeah. yeah Sometimes so. you just the one to listen. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, sikit je, yeah. I'm just. You diam, you diam. <laughs> Macam tak boleh dah. But it was, it was, I think uh, it was a blessing in this guy. That, yeah, after all uh, of that. Uh, and, uh, when mm. we got to see the the second doctor, the 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 second, when we did the second IV after. Yeah. Um, we, 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 we were... You know, uh, kita rasa comfortable. Kita rasa comfortable mm, mm, mm. Uh, with the doctor, with the environment of the center, yes, the nurses, yes, 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 facilities-wise, yes. they are top notch. You know? Alhamdulillah. Um, it's just that, that so happened that the doctor is not a, a lady, lah, kan? Tapi to me at that point, that's part of my uh, ikhtiar tawakal. Part of the process. Uh, part of the so process. So we leave it. Uh, biar 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 Allah yang buat ke, ni lah kan um, yeah. make the decision for us make it easy for us um, and then we on the day of the embryo transfer to I remember mm. we have to go and sign a declaration form to say that mm. uh, you know um, the doctor is about to transfer the embryo into 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 her into the womb yeah um, how many embryos uh, you guys decide To, oh, to transfer, transfer because that is up to the couple. Really? Yeah. Oh. Tapi doctor can advise lah. Doctor can advise lah. So doc- the doctor, I remember the doctor advised that though IVF success rate is higher than IUI, that's about like 55% or mm-hmm. 50% at least. Again, they get 55% uh, success rate. Mm. It's not even. Um, uh, tapi they get. Uh, most of most of the people because of the cause and because of the procedure that they went through some of the couples they decided to to transfer two embryos yes uh, but they so got macam the maybe satu jadi satu tak jadi uh, kan oh, they're macam to playing with the odds lah and for uh, you guys berapa embryo i remember because i signed the declaration form <laughs> uh, i remember we only transfer one embryo So oh, because one. the doctor at first ah. we wanted to transfer two. Yes. But then the doctor said macam are you are you sure because I can see that the apa the possibility of you having twins are very high. Kalau you transfer oh. dua. Can you can you manage? Ah uh, dia kata keep, because you have to be ready of course uh, mentally, mentally physically betul, 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 blah 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 betul, lah kan. Betul, betul, And then dia kata uh, even though that um, of course your family history and what not to ada mm. play some some factors into it. Mm. Uh, because both of uh, us, we are not from the um, twins punya uh, family lah. Mm. Basically, none, none of us. But then Allah gave you twins. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Dua pula. So we transferred one. I remember I signed that. I signed that. I signed that form for one embryo being transferred in. That's so all the rest to keep yes. simpan lah. Uh-huh. So when we got the news, uh, that check up, I think. I think the 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 when we got the news that at first uh, the result was positive that she's pregnant. That's alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. already. That's that's Tujang that's the best macam. news dah ever, dah. That's the dah best news ever, dah. Yes. Ha, dah happy, dah masa tu. Mm, I think and then after that the 
Check, check, up. check up I pergi sendiri uh-huh. Masa tu I macam Okay lah tak apa I pergi sendiri Because He had to work kan uh, yeah. So I I went there with my mum Tapi I cakap My mum tak apa tengok kat luar I went inside Because it's already like uh, It's positive already So it's just like A check up uh, Just check to up biasa yeah, je. Yeah, yeah. So I check I masuk Macam Doctor tu scan Lepas tu dia macam uh, How many embryo Did you transfer I macam One Macam Dia tanya I balik Are you sure one <laughs> yes, one lah because you yang advice I suruh letak satu. So dia macam, hmm, okay. I macam, I, oh, so uh, in my macam mind, I dah macam, ha. alamak, kenapa ni kan? Uh-huh. Is it, I tanya, is it still there? Lepas tu dia macam, yeah, 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 yeah. wait, wait, I need to check. Uh, betul-betul lah, dia check. So, macam, hmm, I think you're going to have twins. I macam, ha? Huh? <laughs> so, I terus cakap macam, alamak, macam nak jaga. <laughs> <laughs> and, and from that moment, and until now you have like two two years and a half two and a two half years now. they are age now how how's life been alhamdulillah okay from that moment Hattic, on yeah i can okay. imagine mm. man. yeah and you've waited for 10 years pula tu yeah Tapi i think yang best yang i call dia terus uh, straight away mm-hmm. after jumpa doktor tu i call dia yang you going to have twins dia macam ha huh? so okay, so okay. tak apa i letak phone dulu dia letak lepas tu i macam eh dia ni <laughs> Betul dia kau balik Sorry sorry Tadi I turun bawah Isak rokok Nak try to digest <laughs> Macam ni boleh ada dua <laughs> I, <laughs> I terus dekat office like, Macam I So my colleague Macam Come 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 I buy you coffee Dia pun macam Apa hal tiba kau nak belanja Aku kopi ni kan <laughs> Perlu perlu bercakap Dengan ah, seseorang Tak percaya Tak percaya, percaya. 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 Tak boleh Tak boleh Masa tu brain tak boleh nak <laughs> Tak digest <laughs> lagi kan Tapi I think Alhamdulillah, I think um, Allah is the best uh, arranger. Um, though we had gone through the ups and downs. Yeah, yeah. This journey is not it's not easy, I would say lah. It's mm, not, mm. bukan semua orang dapat lalu this kind betul, of experience. Betul, betul. Um, I think that's how that's how he pays us back lah. And uh, if you could, for the listeners who are listening mm. kan, who are trying maybe for one year, two years, three years, mm. maybe... 10 years or more Mm-mm. what would you say to them though uh, from what you learn f- from each other in this experience what, what would you say to them uh, I say trust in him mm. uh, trust in in Allah uh, mm. most important is don't give up jangan mm. Mm. jangan rasa macam you have done all and you have done enough mm. because I'm sure out there selagi you tak betul-betul uh, cuba mm. there's, there's a solution to everything mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So basically Maybe at that time You tak dapat the The right uh, You know The right The right uh, Doctor ke apa ke kan mm. um, You know The right process Or even the right uh, Yelah Cuma Jangan give up lah because And every experience tu You belajar yes. something Belajar yeah. something yeah. Belajar something kan yeah. Tapi I nak add sikit lah Yeah because I I actually met a lot of people mm. ada yang 12 years ada 14 years mm. I apa tu after dah went through this macam I understand ada yang macam dah give up after 12 years or 14 yes. years it's okay Be, tapi uh, apa tu make sure that you try everything lah yes kan I cannot say don't give up sampai 12, 14 years if you feel that your body is already tired mm. you can take a break and macam tengok macam mana because sometimes um, macam mana rezeki you mungkin bukan you know it's hard to say lah you memang Tuhan tu nak cakap you memang tak ada zuriat ke apa. Mm-hmm. But you don't know. Of course yeah, there are cases yeah. like that. Mm. So apa tu susah nak cakap macam don't give up. Mm. I know you know your body well. Mm. Kalau you rasa tak boleh you can take a break. Yes. And at times maybe you kena accept and redo. Mungkin you boleh ada anak dengan cara yang lain lah. Macam mm. tu lah. Mm. 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 Because mm. kalau I nak cakap selfish juga. Kalau I nak cakap macam don't give up, don't give up. Tapi you dah try mm. for 14, 16 years. Yes. Because nak buat IVF pun ada orang yang buat yeah. berjuta-juta kali. Allah. Tapi kalau you larat, you rasa you boleh. Yes. Macam mm. I, every time I buat yang I, apa tu, went through semua tu. I teringat Datuk Siti. Masa mm-hmm. I try tu pun, dia macam try juga banyak kali. And I heard that she tried. So many so. times. I see. So kalau dia boleh, macam maknanya I pun boleh. You, so you get inspiration from that yes. lah. Yes. Tapi I macam see. I I I listen to my body. If I feel like I 
Macam ah, I tak nak try dulu. It's okay. Take a rest. Sebab kalau you push pun. You sebab you dengar cakap orang. Don't give a, tapi body you tak ready. Tak akan jadi juga. Mm-hmm. So you know your body. Sebab perempuan susah. Kita punya body macam. Yeah. Kadang kan you know your hormone semua tu. Semua mm-hmm. tu. Mm-hmm. Membantulah. So yeah, stick your time. Okay bila you rasa ready. Okay go. I think you guys punya sharing dah banyak release some of the pressure yang orang alami with regards yeah. to like nak mendapatkan anak boleh faham mm-hmm. boleh faham because you just tried everything for 10 years and alhamdulillah the one time the last time tu dapat twin pula tu alhamdulillah ah, though is unplanned is a unplanned twin <laughs> 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 because uh, like i said we we transfer only one embryo it's just that embryo split uh, split into twins uh, split yeah. and become a, uh, lovely twins alhamdulillah that that part um tapi kita kita bersyukur lah kita bersyukur sangat mm. sangat. You ask for one, Allah give you two. Ah itulah. <laughs> Buy one free one. <laughs> Adam Noah. Adam and Noah. Come 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 come. Yep. Ayam ayam goreng macam pipin lah. Ayam goreng. Ayam goreng. <laughs> oh my god. Makan ayam goreng pula nak aku. Alright guys, so we come to the end of today's episode and we have our two special little guests here, Adam and Noah. Which was Adam again? Adam is the Adam plain t-shirt. Adam and Noah. Adam and Noah. So oh I guess Allah. if you want to leave us with some final words of mm. advice, encouragement, wisdom to people who are watching. These are the products of like 10 years of hard work. <laughs> <laughs> What would you say to our audience today? I think um, last, last, not say last words, lah, but most most important is um, thank you for having us here alhamdulillah yeah and um, i hope uh, our small sharing ni is a beneficial one to mm. to the listeners and uh, most importantly i think uh, i really hope that uh, your doa will uh, you know uh, make them a very Uh, soleh kids lah <laughs> for, for, for the happiness kan uh. inshallah yes yes we hope and pray that both of them will grow up healthy smart and become both anak soleh inshallah, inshallah. Yeah? amin alright thank you very much say wow. thank you say thank, thank you, you. bye bye <laughs> bye bye Thank you very much guys for watching this episode of Couple Talk from Dops TV. My name is Ayman Azlan. Until next time. Assalamualaikum. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Bye bye. bye. Hi, assalamualaikum everybody. We are the producers of Couple Talk season 3. Yeah. So if you are familiar with Couple Talk for the first two seasons, we've had so many amazing couples of different backgrounds, different age groups, different personalities and um, for everybody to come together and talk about the realities of marriages, the good and the bad. So for this episode, we have uh, Nurul Zulkifli from Mimpi Kita and her husband uh, Azrael, uh, also known as Bijan. So um, I think this episode is particularly um, hit the spot for me because um, I'm also going through infertility. So I think it's, it's important for us to discuss about it, to know about what are the options out there for couples who are trying to get a baby and um, the challenges that we face as a couple. So And yeah. it is more common than you think. So for uh, the couples going through situations like this, know that you are not alone. But do follow Nurul and Bijan's story for you to understand a bit more about their journey. So if you have any questions or you have any suggestions for future topics, please comment down below and subscribe to Dops TV. Thank you so much. Assalamualaikum.